Now, that's straight west, isn't it? When the conditions are just right. Yeah, now nah, it's getting a right, yeah. When only a hint of an Oklahoma breeze nudges the sun down in the evening. This is the fun part. Chances are you might just spy one of the most exciting and beautiful sights in the Oklahoma sky. Hot air balloons. Right now we're doing a pre-flight. We all do a pre-flight before we take off to make sure we don't have any leaks. While we're still on the ground, they're like big, bright, billowing clouds of color, awakened to life by the breath of a fan and then moved to flight by the heat of a burner. And as we defy gravity, lift off and gently move away from our earthly bounds, bye! There's only one word that describes the experience, magical. It's the opportunity to get up here where it's absolutely peaceful, serene, you can shake off the stress of the day, the worries of the day. Michael Scott is a hot air balloon pilot in Oklahoma City who became so hooked on the sport that he now owns a business that offers balloon rides. We offer a 45 minute hot air balloon ride here in the Oklahoma City metropolitan area. Usually the flights most often take place in the mornings when the winds are calmest or in the late afternoon like today. This feels so peaceful up here, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're moving at the speed of the wind, so you, you know people that have problems with motion sickness don't have a problem in the balloon because you're moving with the speed of the wind. In fact, the ride is so smooth that if you light a candle inside a hot air balloon, Michael says the flame won't even flicker. As thrilling as the experience is from the balloon, as we glide back to Earth, we're reminded how thrilling it is for people on the ground, too. Susan Sheldon and her son John were driving by when they noticed us drifting by, and they just had to stop. It's the excitement. It's the people that do, you, that do it, the people that are involved in it. They're good people, they're, they're fun, and the thrill of being up in the balloon. So every once in a while, if you help enough, you get to take a ride. Michael says joining a chase crew is another way to get the chance to fly. Balloonists can always use extra hands because what's graceful in the sky can be cumbersome on the ground. It's the great thing about ballooning, it's a, it's a people sport. You can't do it by yourself, you know, it takes other people. So keep your eye on the horizon. You never know when one of these flights of fancy could cross your path and lead to the experience of a lifetime. You all have taken your first flight in a hot air balloon, and we have a prayer that we say for first time passengers. And it goes, the winds have welcomed you with softness. The sun has blessed you with his warm hands. You have flown so high and so well that God has joined you in his laughter and sent you gently back again into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Soft landings. Here, here. Oh. <laughs>